Hello Sagittarius, welcome to a special reading. This is going to be a reading all about messages from spirit for the next six months. As always, it's meant to be general. Don't forget to check out your moon and your rising sign. And let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides, messages for Sagittarius for the next six months. What messages do you have for Sagittarius for the next six months? Spirit? What messages do you have for Sagittarius? For the next six months. Healing energy. So I feel like there's some, I, this is spirit surrounding you and healing energy, maybe to help you um, move past a difficult situation. This could be inner child healing for some of you. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? For the next, okay. All right, I'm going to take those. Mending, yeah, there's definitely something here that it's like spirit is helping you heal. We have new life and milk and honey. What? This is amazing. The milk and honey card is like the ten of cups. Abundance. I mean, this is like ten of cups, nine of cups energy with the milk and honey. So there's something definitely coming um, your way here in the next six months or setting you up for success here. I have yin energy at the bottom of the deck. So you need to just surrender, go with the flow here. Just go, go with this, whatever this is. Let's see, let's get the tarot. Messages for Sagittarius, please, spirit. What do they need to know for the next six months? What does Sagittarius need to know? for the next six months. Okay, so let's see. The High Priestess, Ten of Cups, you see what I'm saying? And the Queen of Wands, there you are. Bottom of the deck, the star. Yeah, this is like healing energy, a wish fulfilled. This is you. I feel being really happy at the end of all this. Let's start with the High Priestess, because this is, um spiritual psychic abilities this is a uh, secret knowledge um mystery let's see listening to your intuition very intuitive energy tell me about the high priestess why is the high priestess here the devil capricorn energy why is the high priestess here yeah i feel like this is part of the healing process here we have the emperor and the empress aries energy we have the page of pentacles Hmm. Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So let's break this down here. So uh, the Devil card is almost like a card about um, unhealthy attachments, toxicity, negativity. It's temptation, desire, obsession. This is choosing the wrong thing without realizing it or making some sort of mistake that maybe keeps you stuck or makes you emotionally attached to something. Um, Let's clarify that, actually. Tell me about the devil. Oh my gosh, then I have justice. I just fell out of the deck. Tell me about the devil. Tell me about the devil. Why is the devil here? Judgment. Look at all this major arcana. Judgment, justice. I feel like these two are connected. This is definitely something from the past. I feel like you, you're you're awakening to this though. You are realizing something here that has kept you stuck. Yeah. Two of Wands. Yeah, this is something that has kept you stuck, Sagittarius. Um, this could be mental, emotional. You know, this could be actual like physical um, difficulties that you're experiencing. But I feel like there's something that has kept you kind of um, stuck in one place. And justice and judgment are here to help you snap out of this. This is something that intuitively you know you have to do already. Um, this is something that you know you have to address because the judgment card is almost like in your face. There's something here that's coming your way. I have the page of pentacles. This could be a partnership situation here because I have the emperor and the empress. Tell me about the page of pentacles. What is this about with the Page of Pentacles? Yeah, the Magician. This is beautiful. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. 
I feel like you are you, you manifested this to come into your life and it's coming but I feel like you need to address something else because I have new life here I have mending so it's almost like healing from this past energy in order to move on and have this new life that makes you very happy tell me about the ten of cups the queen of wands is a doer as well she doesn't just think she does she acts on her um her, uh, her uh, wants, uh, her needs. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. What's this about? Wow, the star. I love it. Aquarius energy here. Yeah, there's like some sort of healing. Um, this is a self-love, self-acceptance. Uh, this is having faith, hope in something more. Oh my God, the Ace of Pentacles. What? I'm going to leave this reading here. No, I'm just kidding. Are you ready for what's under the deck, Sagittarius? Like, are you ready? Four of Wands. This is such beautiful energy. There's some, you're going through some sort of transition period. I really hope you, you take this on and that you go for this. You know, I feel like, you know, and by the way, healing energy, this is something that it, re it requires our participation, okay? We don't just heal because we wake up the next day. <laughs> We're just healed, okay? This is us doing inner work, inner healing. This is us doing meditation, prayer, manifestation, affirmations. This is us, you know, loving ourselves, finding ourselves. What makes us happy? What, what motivates us? What do we have faith in? You know, because there's an offer here that's being extended, but you have to be the one that reaches out and grabs it. You have to be the one that goes after this. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. I feel like things are looking up. I mean, I have two rainbows here. It's like after the rain, here's the rainbow. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Eight of Cups. Yep, there's something you need to leave behind here, Sagittarius. Tell me about the Queen of Wands, some sort of move or transition you need to make. A spiritual journey for some of you. Oh my God, the Six of Swords. Could that be any clearer? Oh man, this reading is like... And then the Six of Wands. Yeah, you're going to be headed straight towards success. But, it, but you need to leave something behind. You need to move. Eight of Wands. You need to move. Ten of Wands after that. Yeah. This is something that I feel like you're at the finish line here. Um, I feel like you've been carrying something for a long time. This could be an emotional baggage that you've been carrying. Um, and I feel like Spirit is trying to wake you up. With uh, the Magician especially. It's almost like, here's what you wanted. Are you going to grab it and go for it? Or are you just going to look at it? <laughs> That's kind of the energy that I'm getting. I feel like there's something so special ahead for you. And I really hope you you go for it. I just keep thinking that. Like, I feel like you really need to go after whatever this is that's coming your way, Sagittarius. Spare any messages, final messages, guidance for Sagittarius, please. Okay, that one just flew right out. Luck is on your side. What's at the bottom? Weeks from now. Something's happening quickly here. Let me grab the Angel Answers deck. Any other messages for Sagittarius? Any other messages, guidance, advice for Sagittarius spirit? For the next six months. Oop. For the next six months, please. What does Sagittarius need to know? Listen to your intuition. Yes, I feel like that's very important. This high priestess is very important. I feel like she's the one that started this whole thing because we had the high priestess and then it kind of took us down this road here of judgment and justice. I want to grab another one from this deck. 
What else? What other messages for Sagittarius for the next six months? What do they need to know, Spirit, for the next six months, Sagittarius? What do they need to know for the next six months? Solitude. Okay, bottom of the deck is Wonders. Let me look at Solitude real quick. Spend some time alone. Take your own counsel rather than relying on the opinions and dictates of others. Break away from the crowd. If you're working on a project, trust your instincts. Take time to reassess your life. In solitude, you will thrive. Interesting. This card also suggests safe haven, a sacred womb for incubation and self-transformation. Beautiful. And then let's just look at wonders just, just for, just because. Just around the corner, exciting possibilities are waiting for you. Wonders will be abounding in your life. Uh, yeah. Bottom of the deck, wonders. Something beautiful is coming your way, Sagittarius. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully this reading resonated for you or you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, if you claim this reading, hit the like button, subscribe, leave me a comment, say hello. I'd love to hear from you. Um, I hope this message finds you well. Thank you so much for your support and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.